Welcome to the weekly weather briefing, Monday, June 22nd, 2015, from your National Weather Service in Spokane, Washington. This is the weekly weather briefing, and we'll cover the weather for the upcoming week across the Inland Northwest. As always, forecasts are subject to change, so please check our website during the week for updated information. Welcome to the weekly weather briefing, Monday, June 22nd, 2015, from your National Weather Service in Spokane, Washington. This weekly weather briefing uh, will cover the weather for the upcoming week across the inland northwest. Again, as always, forecasts are subject to change, so please check out our website during the week for updated information. The next slide is generally an overview. It pretty much sums up everything. The hot pattern coming up. And these are going to be the hottest temperatures of the year. But I do have to note that there is a slight chance of thunderstorms tonight and Tuesday across northern Washington um, and the Idaho Panhandle. And uh, uh, seven days out, six and seven days out across the uh, Cascade Mountain Range. These showers and thunderstorms for tonight will be limited and again isolated across the northern zones and the graphic to the bottom right for Tuesday afternoons, afternoon. Those strong thunderstorms, um, there's not a whole lot of confidence in those strong thunderstorms being strong. Um, the ones you see in the southeast, south of Shoshone County in Idaho and Clearwater County. These are the expected rainfall amounts from the showers and thunderstorms this evening through Tuesday. Again, not a whole lot of precipitation, unfortunately. Keeping focused on thunder, the image above shows the next best thunder threat six to seven days out. The thunder threat for Sunday and Monday is shown above, even though the header says Monday. Confidence is low, but again, it's highly likely it will be confined to the Cascades if we get the thunder. This graphic shows the hot week ahead. We're going to be going into a very broad warm ridge. We'll build across the region um, associated with the hot temperatures for this weekend. Temperatures in the upper 90s and into the hundreds will be common for the weekend. Uh, more specifically, the first day of record-breaking heat will be on Saturday. Unfortunately, this will arrive on a very busy sporting um, activity weekend, especially for Spokane and Kootenai counties. Um, more specifically, here are the high temperatures for many more towns, not shown in the record-breaking heat table shown previously. Many of these towns will also see a record heat. Again, let me show this slide one more time. The numbers you see for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, all of those in Saturday, Sunday, Monday are temperatures that will be broken for all of those sites. If you look at Sandpoint and Moses Lake, we do not have specific record data, climate data for those. However, for Spokane, Pullman, Wenatchee, and OMAC, 
anything from Saturday on through Monday, every number you see there is either a tie or broken record. And in most cases, broken record by uh, anywhere between 3 and 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very significant. The second day of the warmth. And Sunday and Monday will be the warmest days. Spokane 102, OMAC 107, wind for pretty much everybody over 100 degrees. Widespread broken records. And the heat continues on into Monday. Once again, 100 to 110 most sites. For the 10, 8 to 14 day outlook, no big surprise. On the left is the temperature, above normal temperatures, below normal precipitation. And that will pretty much end our weather briefing for the most uh, important elements we want to uh, take care of this week. And as always, stay informed, social media, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter.